Jim Braddock coming out of the corner to meet Tommy Farr. Madison Square Garden, January 21st, 1938. A 10-rounder, these two fine heavyweights. Braddock weighing 199 and a half. Tommy Farr, 207 pounds. A crowd of 17,369 on hand. And Tommy Farr is the favorite at ring time, 13 to 5. The referee is Johnny McAvoy. This is the first and only time these two men have met. Tommy Farr on the right, Jim Braddock at the left. Braddock the taller of the two. Jim Braddock managed by Joe Gould. Tommy Farr managed by Ted Broadrib. Farr out of Tony Pandy, South Wales, the British Isles. Jim Braddock in the far corner. Round two. Braddock has had a total of 83 professional fights. Having scored 26 knockouts, he won 26 decisions, he drew three times, lost 19 decisions, was stopped twice, appeared in five no decision bouts, and in two no contest affairs. He's a former world's heavyweight champion. Jim Braddock achieved one of the ring's great upsets in June of 1935 when as a 10-to-1 underdog, he won a 15-round decision from Max Baird. That's the end of round two. Jim Braddock then lost the world's title to Joe Lewis, being knocked out in the eighth round. In Lewis's first defense of his crown, he fought Tommy Farr, and Farr extended Joe Lewis to the utmost. They fought 15 rounds, with Joe Lewis getting the decision. Jim Braddock has a snapping left hand. He uses it as a hook and as a jab. A ring-wise veteran, Tommy Farr with tremendous strength, hits well with either hand, and he likes to hit to the body. Johnny McAvoy breaks the two men. This is round two of a scheduled ten-rounder at Madison Square Garden. Tommy Farr is 24 years old at this time, weighing 207 pounds. That's the end of round two. As the fight moves along, Jim Braddock has a slight lead in points. Tommy Farr bruising in now on Jim Braddock. Farr, the durable Welshman, with the good left hand and a solid body puncher. Jim Braddock, ring-wise, a veteran, knows just about all there is to know about prize fighting. Straight left jab by Jim Braddock, a good one. Braddock, known as the Cinderella Man, for his great comeback. Good right cross by Jim Braddock, and Farr backs off, and Braddock takes advantage. Moves in on Tommy Farr. Farr tried to spin him into the ropes, and now they separate. That's the end of the fourth round. Tommy Farr going to his corner. <laughs> round five of this 10-rounder at Madison Square Garden. Two of the world's outstanding heavyweights in action. Jim Braddock on the right and Tommy Farr. Tommy Farr hooking to the body. And Johnny McAvoy has to separate them again. Jim Braddock with that straight left jab. Braddock again with the left jab, and again with the right cross. Straight left jab once again by Braddock, keeping Tommy Farr off balance and hurting Farr as well. Farr the favorite. Farr bullying in now, lefts and rights to the body. 
Tommy Farr charging in on Jim Braddock. Farr has had a total of 80 pro bouts at the time of this Braddock fight. Having scored 17 knockouts, he won 39 decisions, drew in 11 fights, lost 12 decisions, and he's been stopped once. Jim Braddock now switches his attack to the body as well. Tommy Faw belaboring Jim Braddock. In Jim Braddock's corner. At the bell. And all Jim has to do is sit down. Now they come out for round seven. Round seven of the scheduled ten rounder. It's been a very even bout to this point. Braddock had the edge in the opening rounds. Tommy Farr in the middle rounds. A well-matched contest. Braddock missing with that right cross. A right cross by Farr again. And Jimmy Braddock is forced to hold on for the moment. These are two well-seasoned, well-conditioned athletes. Tommy Farr, the younger of the two. Jim Braddock is now 32 years of age. But he's kept himself in wonderful condition. Braddock again backed into his own corner by Tommy Farr at the bell. And once more, Farr has to take the long walk while Braddock just sits down. Round eight in the scheduled ten round. Braddock and Farr, well seasoned athletes, solid professional fighters. Braddock, the former world's heavyweight champion. Tommy Farr, who came close to taking it from Joe Lewis. Braddock has met some of the outstanding fighters of the heavyweight division of all time. Tuffy Griffiths, Pete Latso, Jim Slattery, Maxie Rosenblum, Ernie Shan, Al Stillman, and Joe Lewis. Tommy Faw still going for the midsection of Jim Braddock. Tommy Faw seems to have Braddock in trouble now. Faw coming on strongly, shifting his attack to the head at the end of the round. Unquestionably, Tommy Farr's best round to date, the eighth round a moment ago. Now for the ninth round. And Jim Braddock seemed slow and tired, getting out of his corner for the ninth. Tommy Farr seems full of fire. If there is any edge thus far on the bout, it has to be a slight one. Chopping right hand by far may have hurt Jim Braddock then. Braddock holding on. And again, they're separated by referee Johnny McAvoy. The judges are Charlie Lynch and George LeCron. They exchange left hands. A right cross by Braddock. A right uppercut by Braddock was good. Jim Braddock. Tired, holding on against Tommy Farr. Farr, the younger of the two, being pushed against the ropes by Jim Braddock. This is round nine of a scheduled ten round. Braddock wailing away with both hands, and Farr fighting back off the ropes. And again, the round ends with Braddock in his own corner. Final round. They touch gloves. Jim Braddock and Tommy Farr. 
The fight still as close as ever. Tommy Farr still boring into the body. Jim Braddock meeting him with lefts and rights to the head. Braddock with a good right cross. Far again, boring in. They exchange left hands. Jim Braddock with lefts and rights to the head. Braddock following up on Tommy Farr against the ropes. Braddock seems to have renewed strength here in the 10th round. It's Braddock on the right, Farr on the left. Left hook by Braddock, left jab by Farr, they exchange lefts. A good right cross by Braddock. Jim Braddock and Tommy Fall wailing away at the bell, ending this grueling 10-rounder at Madison Square Garden. And now we must wait the decision of the judges. And there's Harry Ballow with the announcement. And the winner is Jim Braddock. Referee McAvoy voted for Braddock, four rounds to three, with three even. Lacron called it six to four for Braddock, and Lynch had four the winner, six rounds to four. On a split decision, Jim Braddock defeats Tommy Barr in a fine heavyweight scrap at Madison Square Garden.